morning children welcome back to the social science class in the last class we had learned about great ocean and the seas today we will study other water bodies at first we can study about rivers all of you listen here so what is the first speciality of river all of you look here rivers are the large streams which flow on a particular path is called course the rivers are the large streams which flows on a particular path is called course so what is course rivers are the large streams which flow on a particular path called course and the next one is it is its journey from the source the rivers it starts its journey from the source usually the source can be a hill or a mountain usually the source can be a hill or a mountain and what is the other speciality of uh, rivers huh? so as the snow of the mountain or a hill melts and water flows water flows in small streams and when the small streams join they form a river they form a river how the river formed as the snow of a mountain or a hill melts the water flow into small streams and when the small streams join they form a river so as the snow of the mountain or a hills melts and water flows in small streams when the small streams join then they form a river they form a river and during its journey a river grows its size as the other rivers join it in hills the other rivers join it in hills during its journey a river grows its size as the other rivers the other rivers join it in the hills and some may join the main uh, main river in the plain some may join some may join in the main river in the plains and these rivers are known as tributaries what are tributaries some may join the main river in the plains some rivers some rivers some uh, may join main river in the plain some may join the main river in the plains and these rivers are known as tributaries these rivers are known as tributaries okay some may join the main river in the plains this known as tributaries okay and we can study the mouth about mouth what is mouth the mouth of a river is a place mouth of a river is a place where the river ends its journey yeah? and it join with the other big uh, other big water bodies such as oceans or a seas okay so what is a mouth the mouth is a the uh, mouth of a river is a place where the river ends its journey and it join the other big water bodies such as oceans or seas okay so what is a mouth the mouth of a river is a place where the river ends its journey and join other big water bodies such as oceans or seas okay these are the important features of rivers okay the next topic is lakes what are lakes the water bodies which are surrounded by lands on all sides are called lakes what are lakes the water bodies which are surrounded by land on all sides are called lakes what are lakes the water bodies which
which are surrounded by lands on all sides are called lakes. So the lakes, lakes are two types. What are they? The lakes are two types. What are they? The first one is fresh water lakes and the second one is salt water lake. The first one is fresh water lake and the second one is salt water lake. So what are the specialities of fresh water lakes? The fresh, a fresh water lake contains water that is not salty. What is the speciality of fresh water lake? The fr a fresh water lake contains water that is not salty. And what is the example of that uh, fresh water lake? Yeah, the Lake Superior in North America, it is an example of fresh water lake. And the next one is salt water lake. So, what is the speciality of salt water lake? A salt water lake contains water that is salty. What is the speciality of salt water lake? The so a salt water lake contains water that is salty. Okay. And the example of salt water lake is Sampar Lake in India. What is, the ex what is an example of salt water lake? The example of a salt, wa salt water lake is Sampar Lake in India. Sampar Lake in India. So, we have studied about lakes. The, what, what, what are lakes? The water bodies which are surrounded by land on all sides are called lakes. Two types are uh, two types of lakes are there. What are they? The first one is freshwater lake, and the freshwater lake means a freshwater lake contains water that is not salty. An example of a freshwater lake it is the Lake Superior in North America, and the next one salt water lake, and it is so a salt water lake contains water that is salty, and Example of salt water lake is Sampar Lake in India. Okay. And our next water body is waterfalls. Our next water body is waterfalls. What are the speciality of waterfalls? We can study about that. These water bodies are formed when streams or rivers fall from a height. For example, the Jog Falls in Karnataka. What, so, what are, what are the specialities of waterfalls? These water bodies are formed when streams or rivers are fall from a height. These fall from a height. For example, that the Jog Falls in Karnataka. The Jog Water Falls in Karnataka. The Jog Water Falls in Karnataka. The Water Falls. These water bodies are formed when the streams or a river fall from a height. It is called Water Falls. For example of Water Falls is Jog Water Falls in Karnataka. Jog Water Falls in Karnataka. So, these are the important topics from the lesson for major landforms. Okay. Children, you will get your question answers through the WhatsApp. So, you have to read your textbook.